fans of the toughest obstacle course on tally will be hyped to hear there's a new season of Australian Ninja Warrior coming to three this weekend. We, we talk to its only Kiwi star next, but first, Tony Lyle finds out if he's got what it takes to be a contend cont 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 contender. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tony Lyle, and I've always truly believed I've got what it takes to be a real-life ninja. Luckily for me, the guys at Action Ninja World up in beautiful Matakana have opened up especially for me to see if I can prove it. Oh Is that all you got? Yeah, unorthodox, but effective. You can't call yourself a ninja warrior without taking on the big old wall. Not quite a ninja warrior. Maybe ninja admin? I hope there's a ninja bar. Well, one of the season's stars is New Zealander Katie Sparrow, and she joins us now. Katie, Tony's just showing us how hard it is to become a ninja. Where did you get your ninja skills from? Well, I think... Um... Growing up in New Zealand, I've always been quite exposed to outdoors and sports, and I've always had a natural upper body strength, <laughs> but I suppose inspiration-wise with fitness, probably my dad, actually. Ninja Warrior is such a great show. Could you give us a bit of an insight as to how hard it is to do that course? I think the hardest part is you only get one shot, so even if you mm. could actually get through the whole thing, if you do one little slip-up, then you're off, and you never get to try it again to see if you could do it. So yeah, it's tricky. It's a mixture of skill and then a lot of strength work as well, particularly in the upper body. Uh, this is your second time competing this year. Why did you want to give it another crack? Um, first time I did it, I feel like I could have done better. I sort of just made um, a dumb move and didn't jump off an obstacle when I had the chance, lost momentum and then just had to kind of jump into the water. So it was annoying. I was like, oh, I actually want to try and get through the next one. So yeah, I was always eager to get back on the show and give it another shot. Uh, you have your own personal training company in Sydney. What shape are your clients in after so many weeks of lockdown? Um, I'd say they're actually still in great shape. I've still been doing all of the training, but just outdoors and one-on-one. -on -one. Do you offer like a Ninja, ninja Warrior package? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. That would be cool, though. Hey, I've just heard uh, that you have just started beatboxing. Uh, is that true? Can you give us a little <laughs> sample? I can. I can give you a little uh, Snoop Dogg, maybe. Ooh, please. Ooh. Sounds better with a microphone, but... Oh, wow, that's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. amazing. That was so good, I thought you'd just pretend, like, you just put that in front of your face and then press play, <laughs> which is what I'm going to oh, do from now on, but that was incredible. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Oh, Katie, thank you so much for your time this evening and all the best. Yeah, thank you. Hope you enjoy the show. It's a goodie. Cool. Well, Australian Ninja Warrior airs on three this Sunday. Yeah, and um, that course that Tony did is a course here in New Zealand in Matakana, uh, north of Auckland, but it's not open at the moment in uh, level three. So uh, it's something you can do sometime in the future.